Kyler by Joy O is an eco jewelry line. The pieces all are all made from recycled metal. You use a lot of steel. Yes. Does that come from your roots? <laughs> Maybe the steel does come from my roots. I was born in Charleroi, Pennsylvania. It's a little suburb southeast of Pittsburgh. Steel, steel country. My family is pretty much blue collar. Um, my uncles all worked in the steel mills. My grandfather worked in the steel mills. My dad was the only one that didn't go to the mills and he did retail. After a while, I, I felt a little bit like in the whole dot-com world, like it's computers, it's pixels, and you know, people were getting so upset and like so overclamped about everything that we were doing. Oh my gosh, it's so important. It's just life or death. And I'm like, it's not at all life or death. I always knew that I wanted to have my own business. And then I decided that I just wanted to do something with my hands and I wanted to make something tangible. I had been taking some classes in making jewelry and I was good at it. And I did some spreadsheets, I ran some numbers and it seemed very doable as a business. I could see how it would work. I was very naive actually when I started my business. I knew that I didn't know, but I had no idea how much I didn't know, which is good because the main crux of being an entrepreneur is that you have to be willing to take action every day. And I'm not that you can't make mistakes because of course you'll make mistakes and then you'll just have to make new decisions and take new actions. But it's really about being able to move forward and not get paralyzed. I moved from Joy O, which was entirely handmade, like top to bottom handmade, soup to nuts, over to Kyler because I felt like I wanted to explore different forms and I had like ideas that were bolder. I actually hand draw all the designs directly on a tablet that goes right into the computer. I send the computer files to my supplier and then they use those computer files to cut the shape that I've designed out of the steel and then I assemble it into the final jewelry. The amount of skill that is required to assemble a Kyler piece is a lot less than it was for all the handmade aspects that went into Joy O. So Kyler has the opportunity of scaling to volume. I always looked at it as a growth opportunity. Being on the web is something that I understand. It's something that I, I know I can do. And the margins are great. They're better than wholesale because you're selling direct. How many necklaces like that will you make? Is it a limited edition? Is it a... You know, I've thought about doing limited editions, but I have not done limited editions yet. I'm not so huge that the editions are that big anyway. So anyone who purchases from me now can consider it a limited edition. <laughs>